But cockle picking on this beach is not without its dangers, one of which is, rather surprisingly, low-flying aircraft. The prospect of being hit by a plane in this vast expanse of sand might seem an unlikely one, but the hazard is real. Because this is the runway of Barra's airport, the only airport in the world where scheduled flights land on the beach. It first opened in 1936 and has been voted by pilots as one of the top airports to fly into. Every year, 10,000 passengers arrive here. Neil McLean is the man who ensures aircraft land safely, a task made more complicated by the fact that twice a day, when the tide is high, the runway is underwater. So what are the hazards associated with landing on sand? Dead seal, dead dolphin, dead birds, some barrels. The fire service go out twice a day and they check the beach to make sure that there's none of the rubbish left behind that might cause problems with the aircraft. So the runway could be closed because of a dead dolphin? Not for long, we'd shift it. <laughs> <laughs> if we had a whale, I think we might have an issue. That, that would cause us a bit of a problem because the tractors aren't that big. <laughs> we had one occasion where somebody had built an enormous sandcastle with a moat and they were quite put out when we went out with the tractor and flattened it. <laughs> kind of felt sorry for the children, but uh, yes. Conditions on Barra can change quickly. Landing here can sometimes be very challenging for pilots and passengers too. We've had one gentleman on one occasion, as the aircraft was coming in, who thought the aircraft was in fact crashing. And he proceeded to start working on the emergency exits to try and get out which is probably disconcerting for other passengers, but luckily he never managed to open the, the door or the window. And I think you're quite a fright. <laughs> but it is. The reward for landing on Barra is immediate. Visitors can enjoy some of the most stunning scenery anywhere in the world, 